good morning guys so it's 5:40 in the morning and uh, it's a first day back to school after the long vacation uh, sorry that i have not been blogging or vlogging and uh, making videos of the recipes since long time i had uh, i was been very busy in uh, india and uh, i wanted to relax a little bit and uh, stay away from video making and uh, recipe trying for some time so uh, let's see what uh, i have packed for the kids snack box today so these are uh, podi idlis um, this is just mini idlis sauteed in some oil and uh, chutney powder I'll show you the recipe for the chutney powders and mini idlis are the same. The idli recipe I have posted earlier and um, uh, this just made in the small uh, molds, mini idli molds. And some uh, kaju katlis. We bought this from Mumbai and the twins actually love this. These are some uh, banana chips. Uh, this I had. Uh, brought from kerala and for the side snack uh, i am giving them a banana so appu um, aniket he likes um, the normal big bananas the philippine uh, bananas as they are called here and uh, kichu he doesn't like this so he likes the small one uh, the um, elaichi bananas they are called in english or in malayalam we call it puvan baram so this is that for kichu otherwise the rest of the tiffin looks the same for both of them so that's it and uh, this is the towel and their water bottles <laughs> they have labeled it themselves okay so when we went to india they had a uh, activity book uh, from which they have labeled this and these are the metal ones uh, i used to give them the plastic bottles but we have uh, switched to the metal ones now so this this aniketes Okay, I have kept it wrong. Okay, so this is their uh, lunch bags, um, and this is how I pack the tiffin today: the tiffin box and uh, towel and banana. And this closes like this. And for Anirudh's. ஸ்கூல் Are you excited? Yeah. Yay! Keep it inside the, your bag. Come. Take. No. Oh, this is my bag. Which one? No, this is my bag. No. Put. Which one is your bag? Okay. Keep kitchens also. Here. அப்பு லுக் பேபி கேட் கிட்டன் வாட் இஸ் பேபி கேட் வாட் இஸ் பேபி கேட் 
kitten. 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 Yeah. Bye, Gichu. Apu? Apu? Bye. <laughs> so, the kids are off to school, and uh, these are the mini idli molds I was talking about. We make <clears throat> idlis for the twins in these. Uh, from now onwards because I have recently bought these from uh, India so this is it it comes with I think five mold plates and uh, we use only two of these because they are enough for the kids and this is our idli mold so I have made some uh, idlis for us me Abhi and uh, the nanny so i was not planning for a chutney because we have chutney powder which we brought from india uh, but i thought i'll have make some um, coconut chutney white white coconut chutney for uh, which is actually very superb with idlis uh, uh, i love it and um, i'll show you how to make them uh, this is um, the grated coconut we buy here from the supermarket you get it like this in packs and I freeze this one um, and it keeps well for a good one to two months we have never kept it that long but I have heard that so so this is frozen so we need to uh, thaw it first so I'll do it in the microwave I'm transferring it to a ceramic bowl Let's keep it for one and a half minutes and uh, let's see and meanwhile uh, to grind the chutney uh, I'll take out this jar and uh, I have kept ready one uh, whole green chili and a piece of ginger uh, chili is totally dependent on your taste uh, I don't like it too spicy so and this uh, chili is really spicy uh, so you can add two or more if you want uh, this is curry leaves I have kept it for tempering so not to be added to the chutney okay so the coconut is thawed nicely and um, just remove any uh, shell pieces if it is there so I'll add this to the mixy jar okay and uh, go on and add the chili and uh, the ginger ginger better to cut it in small pieces and add okay so just cut it like this okay and now with this uh, i'm not going to add salt now uh, but we have to add a little water to this um, just level out the coconut like this and uh, while adding water you have to make sure uh, don't add cold water or tap water straight from the tap uh, always add a little warm or a little hot water to this the chutney will grind nicely and while adding the water you have to uh, like soak the coconut so like this something like this okay now let's grind it and I'll show you uh, how it is. So here is the chutney. 
and um, after grinding it it should be like this of this texture I don't know if you can see it properly so like this so not too much watery and uh, properly ground just give it a taste to check the um, chili if you want to add more chili you can add it here and also to check the salt uh, we have not added salt yet so how much to add you can check now mm. so the chili is enough uh, like I said I don't um, eat too much spicy in my whole family we don't eat too much spicy food so now I'll add some salt in this and we will blend it again I have blended it again and um, now let's transfer it to the bowl just I'll just scrape down whatever is left in the mixie let's not forget the lid <laughs> see how much uh, of the chutney is there on the lid I'll check the salt again mm, it's okay so now we'll make the uh, tempering for this now in um, our Kerala food we normally use uh, velachanna or coconut oil uh, for cooking uh, and for this chutney also in the tempering I will uh, add coconut oil only so let's add about a tablespoon <clears throat> that's enough so let it heat up so I'll add um, around half a teaspoon of mustard just let it splutter and then we can add around half a teaspoon of udak dal let's make it one teaspoon Now let this one heat up nicely. Take a spoon. I'm adding curry leaves. Uh, just tear it up and add to this. And just be careful if it is um, it has water in it, it will splutter. Whole red chili. Just break it into pieces and add. Just give it a good mix. And uh, that's it. The tempering is ready. So we'll add over the chutney. And give it a mix. Just light mix. So our coconut, white coconut chutney is ready for the idlis. After breakfast I went out for some grocery shopping. Um, we recently came from India and had not been to uh, grocery shopping in these last few days so some items I had purchased already from uh, a supermarket which is nearby my place um, this is what we got today 
So I'll do, just show you a glimpse of what I have purchased. <clears throat> so we'll start with the fruits and vegetables. These are um, normal big bananas. The Philippine bananas which we call it here. And uh, this is um, coriander, fresh dhania or maliela. Um, half a cabbage and uh, this is um, long beans or achinya then this is onions some lady fingers small uh, bananas Param. I don't know if it is Puvan Param or Nyali Puvan or Paling Godan. I don't, um, I really can't differentiate between them. So, Cheru Param, small bananas. And uh, this is red seedless grapes. Uh, this is the small red shallots. And uh, that's it, that's it for vegetables and fruits. And these are some cashews, some almonds, some biscuits and these are whole uh, sweet corn kernels. Uh, I make uh, curry of these, I just steam and boil, um, steam or boil for kids and we eat it uh, with little bit of butter and salt and pepper. This is um, chocolate milk. This Almarai, um, this one, uh, Almarai double chocolate milk. This actually reminds me of um, the cold cocoa we have it in India. The cheese sticks I send into the boys' Tiffin box. And um, this Meethi Lassi. It's really hot here, so when they are back from school, we can give this as a snack. Um and some milk so i use this one this tetra pack uh, comes like this four in a pack and uh, it's full cream so we use this for the boys milk and uh, chai everything we use this one then uh, this is actually from a supermarket these all items the that area and uh, this one also yeah uh, vermicelli this is um, a little thicker version not the regular uh, vermicelli we get in India uh, this we use for upma uh, vermicelli upma uh, this is a little thicker one this is actually a pasta variety it's not uh, the regular Indian vermicelli variety we get okay so um, now this these all items I got from Alla Adil uh, they have specialty Indian products um, which we might not get in other supermarkets so we went I actually went there for this one um, this is mother's recipe tamarind paste uh, this used to come in a pouch but they have I think now they sell it in a jar um, this I forgot to bring from India mostly I bring it from India like four or five packs I uh, of the pouch I get it from India but I forgot it this time so this was important because uh, we make sambar and uh, rasam on a regular basis so I need this I don't use the whole um, tamarind we use the paste this one then this is um, sandwich masala this I uh, like uh, I use for normal vegetable sandwich just a sprinkle of this and it's really tasty. Then uh, this pepper banana chips. This is my husband's favorite. He got it for himself. Then some khakras. These are some new variety which they have got it recently. So there was a promotion going on. So I got to 
of these then yeah this is nutella uh, the soya nutella nutrella sorry uh, the soya chunks these are the mini versions so we make um, sabzi for chapati using this but generally we buy the bigger one and we have to cut it in two three pieces but these are mini ones i'm buying it for the first time so let's see and uh, yeah this is kashmiri chili <clears throat> kashmiri chili powder um, this i am buying for the first time from them generally i uh, get it from india of the brand uh, ramdev but this time i somehow forgot about it so this i am purchasing for the first time from aladil so i hope it is uh, it gives good color and not much of a heat and this is also i am testing for the first time these are wafers these are uh, these are potato jali wafers and uh, these are the sabudana papad colored papad so that's it uh, that's it my that's my grocery haul i hope you like the vlog style video um, so see you guys next time and see you guys in my next vlog okay bye